Hello all. Welcome to my YouTube lecture. In this session, we are learning about repeat and forever loop statements. And we shall see how to write a Verilog code using this. Here's a repeat loop. The keyword used for repeat loop is repeat, small case, R-E-P-E-A-T. The repeat constructs, executes the loop at fixed number of times. This is what you need to observe carefully. This statement executes a loop for fixed number of times, wherein in for loop and while loop, it was dependent on the condition that we were specifying. But here it is, the number of times are fixed. A repeat construct cannot be used to a loop on a general logic expression. In that case, you can use either for or while loop. Let us look into the problem statement. We shall have to implement inc uh, increment and display count from 0 to 127 integer. We'll declare integer count, which is of 32 bits. Initial begin, count is initialized as 0. Repeat the following loop for 128 times. There is no condition. There is no uh, any conditions here, but there is some fixed number. 128 times it should repeat. That's it. So here, what is going to happen when the repeat statement is entered? The count is displayed. After every increments, the count has to display. There is no time delay mentioned. Hence, all these things happen in zero simulation time. For checking it practically, we have to introduce some delay here that will look after in Xilinx environment. I've taken the same code here. I have introduced a delay of five nanoseconds so that count increment is visible to us in the simulator. Let us simulate the same and check whether it is working according to us. 128 times it has to execute. So count is initialized as zero till 127 counts. It has to count. I just uh, maximize it. At every five time minutes, you can check it is changing its value. I change the radix now. 0, 1, 2, 3 till till 128 it is till 127 it is increasing and thereafter 128 it increments it will come out of the loop this is how the repeat statement will execute again i am telling these all four uh, for while repeat forever statements are used only for stimulus and test bench writing not for the design block we shall check uh, the few more examples now or else we'll go for the next loop the next and last loop statement in verilog is forever the keyword forever is used. The loop does not contain any expression and executes forever until the finished task. Let me repeat. This loop does not contain any expression as in the case of repeat. But the difference between repeat statement and forever statement is repeat statement execute for some specified number of times. Wherein forever statement will execute until it encounters a system task dollar symbol finish and disable statement if any anything is specified disable statement is one of the special kind of uh, uh, statement you can use either disable or finish in order to end the simulation of forever i have taken an example of clock generation here i have defined a register of clock clock uh, with a register initial begin clock is initialized as zero which is of single bit forever after every 10 time minutes clock is inverting itself so this is like I'm generating a clock with a period of 20 time units. Let us have a look of the same code in a Verilog simulator. Here's a forever statement code. Module clock gen, I have defined one bit clock. Initial two initial blocks are the one to, one to initialize a clock and run the forever statement, loop statement, and one more initial block to stop or finish the termination or terminate this code because forever stops only when it encounters either disabling block or else dollar symbol finish. That's why it has been taken. The clock period will be of 20 time minutes. I have uh, synthesized it and let me simulate it, simulate it. Um, so here you can see that and just maximize it, zoom, zoom it. At 20 nanoseconds, you have one clock period. Another 20 clock cycle, you have one more uh, clock period. So this is how the forever statement and repeat statements are made use in the Verilog. 
you have to use these these all loop statements in test bench or stimulus writing in design block you can use but it is not recommended as it will hamper your optimization or efficiency of the code so in the next session we'll come up with the sequential and parallel blocks see you in the next video to keep updated uh, for the next videos kindly subscribe my channel thank you